A bubble can hold any type of content, whether it be a text post or a picture, or in this case, Sam Selikoff has posted the, the video, The Broken Window Fallacy. So let's go over some of the functionality on the interface here. We can thumbs up or thumbs down this video. We can add this video to our favorites, share it, or add it to a playlist. On the right here, we have two options that are currently selected as today and recent. These are filter options for the streams emanating from the bubble. A stream is a conversation between two people, and in this case, there are zero streams emanating from this bubble. It's a brand new bubble. And we can see that by this web icon that has the letter uh, number zero in it. This lets us know, which uh, is obvious to see there are no streams emanating from this bubble, but that lets us know how many streams are emanating from the bubble. We also have this info button, which will give us some text information about the author and about the post. And we have my bin. The my bin bubble allows users to save bubbles in my bin to reference later. Let's take a look. A new comment appears at the North Pole of the bubble to the user. Unless the user has posted the comment themselves, in this case, Luke Bessie is the user, and I have the option to reply down here at this bubble. And if I did so, my, but my comment would come out at the South Pole, and I would view it there. Again, just a note to understand the system, now this web icon has the number one, meaning that there's one stream emanating from this bubble. Now let's zoom way ahead and see a more developed conversation. So now there's a lot going on here and let's go through all the steps. All the blue bubbles from Tina, Aristotle, and world's largest iPod have not been touched. There is no action done to them. So that's why they're blue, they're new. Nobody's thumbs up or thumbs down them and nobody's replied to them. Nick Rusum's bubble hasn't been replied to, but it has been thumbs up. So it's green and it, uh, it tends towards the East Pole. The East Pole is the most popular stream. RFL Fons' bubble has two comments off of them and right now they are collapsed streams. So the bumps represent collapsed streams. A user can press on that bump to expand the stream and see the conversation. In this case, we know RFL Fons was responded to by people who were not Sam Telekoff because the system works that your vector emanates from the center of your bubble straight through the bubble. So Mark and Sam Selikoff are having a conversation between each other and we, can, we know that, that their conversation is between each other because the straight line vector uh, of the stream goes straight through Mark's bubble to Sam's bubble. So this is the system of how we know a conversation between two people and in this case RFL Fonz's bubble is clearly between other users besides Sam Selikoff. We also see John Locke has posted a post that says, this video sucks. And this, the point of uh, streams and bubbles is to get rid of the garbage. So a lot of people do not add anything to conversations. They spam or they do stuff like this where they haven't added any intellectual comment. And we want to be able to get rid of those people and not uh, bother the new users by making them see it. So today, most recent, displays the seven most recent streams. When a new stream appears, which that means when a new user puts a, a comment, John Locke's bubble will disappear. It will pop. Um, now, it's not that it's lost forever. You can always look at pop bubbles and rotate through bubbles. But to a new user coming on, uh, to coming to this conversation web, having their filter set at today most recent, they will not be bothered with what the users have chosen to be not important or least important. And again, you can set, instead of these filters, you can set this week, uh, most popular, um, top 10. You can set these controls however you would like them and filter the conversation web according to your preferences. Let's take a look a step further. Here we're zooming way ahead. Now, what's happened here is Luke Bessie, the user, I have started to respond, so I've hit the reply button. It's given me, given me the options to do a video response, to link bubbles, or to do a text response. Now, before we go over all the functionality of the my links, my alerts, my bin, and my streams, my bubbles, let's just take a look at the web itself. 
So again, Sam Selikoff's original video still has seven streams emanating from it. The most popular stream has showed up at the East Pole here, and popularity is a function of not only responses, but also thumbs ups, um, or the difference between thumbs up and th thumbs ups and thumbs downs. And th the case that Sam Selikoff responded to Mark put a very heavy weighting on that stream because people that are coming to see Sam Selikoff's video are probably more interested in the responses from, of Sam Selikoff. So Sam Selikoff's actions have more weight in this web than another user, an anonymous user. In this case, Mark and Sam Selikoff have a three-tier, a four-tier conversation starting from the original bubble. And Aristotle, Aristotle, not to be confused with Aristotle, has responded to Mark's uh, bubble out here and we've ha we have it expanded at the moment. Now, there's these green play buttons. These are very important for the user. Let's say I am interested in the conversation between Sam and Mark. And I, I know this because I know both users or um, it's, I know this because it's the most popular stream so I know that the users have picked uh, through a process of thumbs up and thumbs down and commenting the thing that I would like to see the most. So for whatever reason, I want to see their conversation unfold and I want to sit back and relax while I do it. I can hit these play buttons at any given moment and it will play the stream from the previous bu bubble. For instance, if I hit this play button, I will watch the entire stream. Starting with the broken window fallacy, Mark's text comment will scroll on the screen, Sam's text comment will scroll on the screen, scroll on the screen, and then Mark's text comment will scroll on the screen. Now, I can highlight an entire stream if I want to. So I can drag with my mouse all the way down this stream and up. And then at the end of that, Aristotle's text comment will scroll on the screen. Of course, scrolling speeds will be designated by the user based on their preferences. And a lot of times we're gonna be anticipating video responses, so it'll simply be video after video after video. This will recreate the human conversation in a lot better, uh, more fun way than what we have right now. Let's go over the functionality of these bubbles at the top. My bubbles is pretty self-explanatory. In any given web, I can hit this button and it will highlight all of the bubbles that I'm involved in. My streams also pretty self-explanatory. My bin is a very powerful function. What this allows, let's say Sam Selikoff is the author of this video and he really cares about responding to people who have legitimate concerns about his theory. Well, if Sam Selikoff is generating a lot of traffic, uh, namely, let's, uh, let's assume that he's generating thousands of users an hour and there's thousands of comments an hour, he's gonna wanna be able to filter the good from the bad. If he's noticing really good comments pop up and he's, and again, uh, the user can uh, determine how many bubbles pop up if it's time released. So he can say, I want a new bubble to appear every 30 seconds to give him time to read and look at the other bubbles. Um, and of course, in, in those situations, it will tell him how many bubbles are on deck. It will say, you know, currently 40 bubbles coming up so he has an idea of what's ahead of him. Um, or he can do view bubbles in real time, and then it might be a little more chaos, uh, chaotic and sporadic, but we'll have a lot more bubbles coming up. In either case, the user will have the ability to press my bin on any bubble to save it for later. This is, so if he wants, if he cares about responding to each person worth responding to, he will have this ability to save their bubbles in my bin for later reference. My alerts lets him know who has, if anyone has done action to a bubble that he's involved in. So in this case, my alerts will let him know if people have thumbs up or thumbs down his bubbles or responded to his bubbles. Finally, my links is possibly the, the most important part of recreating the human conversation in streams and bubbles. What we tend to find a lot of times is somebody will raise an objection that has already been dismantled brilliantly by somebody else. My links allows us not to recreate conversations that are already out there in a very good uh, and digestible form. For instance, I can link users to bubbles. So let's say Mark has a comment and he says, can you explain how this applies to taxes? And I have, as an other user, I have a perfect explanation for that. Um, and, and it's a friend of mine who can do it very well. 
I can link my friend to this bubble and it will show up in his alerts to come and take a look at Mark's bubble and see if he wants to jump in on this conversation. I can also link bubbles to bubbles, which is very powerful because now let's say there's a video out there that I know of that explains this question to Mark brilliantly. Well, now I can link this uh, video, this other bubble to Mark's bubble and he will be, and it will become a stream off of Mark's bubble. So again, my links is helping us uh, not recreate conversations that are already existing and out there. Well, I think that's it for streams and bubbles, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. Um, leave some comments and suggestions. Thanks.